Working dogs have demanding jobs that require them to be in peak physical condition. A combination of exercise and diet is essential for ensuring working dogs stay trim. Ideally, dogs should have a body condition score of 4 to 5. Working dogs should be a 4. Body condition scoring, or BCS, is a method of systematically scoring fat reserves in order to determine energy requirements versus food intake. Essentially, it's a way to determine if a dog is too fat or too thin by assessing how their body feels during a physical exam. Dogs are scored on a 9-point system. A score of 1 means a dog is emaciated, whereas a score of 9 means a dog is grossly obese. The BCS reflects how overweight a dog is. A score of 6 means that the dog is 10% overweight. A score of 7 is 20% overweight. And a score of 8 is 30% overweight. Let's do an exercise together. Extend your hand with your fingers stretched out. With your other hand, run your fingers along your outstretched knuckles. This is what a dog's rib cage should feel like with an ideal body condition score of 4 to 5. Dogs should have a noticeable waist when viewed from above. Now make a fist and run your fingers over your knuckles. The knuckles are much more prominent. If a dog's rib cage feels like this, the dog is too thin. Now flip your hand over and run your fingers along the top of your palm. There's a thick cushion on your hand. If you run your hands over a dog's rib cage and it feels like this, that means the dog is overweight. In the following photos, the dog's bodies are comparable to the people's bodies. This dog is emaciated. Visible bony prominences are obvious. This dog is thin and has no fat deposits. Some bony prominences are visible. This dog has a good abdominal tuck and ribs are easily palpable. There are minimal abdominal fat deposits. This is the body of an athlete. This dog still has a waist, but there is slightly more abdominal fat present. This dog has no discernible waist and has moderate abdominal fat deposits. With this dog, it is very hard to palpate the rib cage. There is no abdominal tuck and the waist is not obviously visible. There are substantial abdominal fat deposits with additional fat deposits around the lumbar and tail region. This dog is grossly obese. The rib cage is not palpable. There is obvious abdominal distension with substantial abdominal, tail, lumbar, and neck fat deposits. The waist is not visible. Let's look at some of the dogs we have at the Penn Vet Working Dog Center to practice body condition scoring together. This is Louie, a German Shepherd puppy. What score would you give him? We give him a score of 3.5. His ribs are prominent upon palpation and his waist is visible from above. This is Murphy, a Dutch Shepherd. What score would you give him? We give him a score of 4. His abdominal tuck is appropriate when viewed from the side, and he has a good waist when viewed from above. This is Jenner, a yellow Labrador Retriever. What score would you give him? We give him a score of 6.5. We have to push quite a bit to feel his ribs, and he does not have much of a waist when viewed from above. Dogs suffer from significant obesity-related health consequences, just like humans. Fat dogs are prone to a multitude of diseases such as osteoarthritis and diabetes. They also have a shortened working career and a shortened lifespan. A seminal 14-year-long study found that obese dogs have a 15% decrease in longevity. This means they lose two years off their lifespan. Obese dogs have a shortened working career as well. First, do the test that we talked about earlier and feel your dog's rib cage. If you can't feel your dog's rib cage without applying pressure, we need to talk about diets. 
It's important to realize an important but common misconception about reading dog food labels. The recommended daily feeding amount should be based on your dog's ideal weight, not their current weight. It's important to consider your dog's lifestyle, activity level, age, and altered versus intact status when evaluating daily intake as these factors can affect metabolism. It is important to use a BCS chart when evaluating your working dog. Relying on the experience of evaluating only companion dogs can lead to highly inaccurate scores. Working dogs are the Olympic athletes of the canine world and thus should not be given leniency on their true BCS score by handlers or veterinarians. Use a measuring cup when preparing your dog's meal. Measure to the appropriate line and keep it level. Do not heap the dog food into the cup. Use a real measuring cup with lines, not a generic cup to measure food, as it can over approximate the amount of food you need to feed. Working dogs need to have a BCS of four in order to maintain their athleticism for their jobs. Ha! <laughs>